Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to solve this flow collections and loop super batch unit. And before we start this super batch unit, we need to complete these two prerequisites. If we complete it, then this flow collections and loop super batch unit will get unlocked. And before starting this super batch unit, we need to sign up for the developer edition org. Further click on this link. So here enter all your details. First of all, enter your first name. I am entering it as education and then enter your last name and here in this email address enter your own email address after that select the role as developer and type the company name as your college name or salesforce and select the country after that enter your postal code then set the username for this developer edition org. So I'm entering it as flow collection at the red education matters.com. So check whether it is available or not. So yeah, it is available. After setting the username, just click on this checkbox here and then click on the sign me up button. So here we got the message like, please check your email to confirm your new account. It takes approximately 10 to 15 minutes of time to receive the email and wait for that time. So after waiting for 10 minutes, I got this mail regarding the your developer edition login information. So click on this link. Here click on this reset password. Then click on this OK. So here set your own password and then enter the same password after that type your answer for the security question and then click on this change password button so like this we changed the password successfully just close this tab and move to this email place and copy the username available here and after that move to the instructions just scroll down to the last and here click on these three dots and then click on this connect org button so type the username and then enter the password and then click on this login button so i have to enter the verification code sent to my email id and then click on this verify button So click OK and then click on this allow button. Finally click on this test save it button. So scroll down to the last and launch the developer edition org. For that click on this launch button. This is a setup page so let's move to the task details. So the challenge one is create a flow to collect and display records for user interaction. So move to the top and here it is. So we need to complete all the instructions here. So let's move to the setup page and then in this quick find search for flows. So click on this flows and here click on this new flow button and here select it as screen flow. Now change this layout from auto layout to free form and here move to this manager. Here select the new resource button and here select the resource type as formula and then copy the ABI name from the instructions that is today minus 30. So copy it and then add it here and after that select the data type as date or time and we need to add the formula for that move to the instructions and then copy the formula available here. So add it and then click on this check syntax button so after that click on this done button so we created one of the formula resource so let's move to this elements tab and from here just drag and drop this get records element so after that we need to add the label so for that i'm entering it as get opportunities so get opportunity after that in this object field Select it as opportunity. So click on this opportunity. 
and after that here in this search fields search it as create date so we can see that created date and select the operator as greater than or equal and for the value select it as today minus 30 so here it is and then in this sort order select it as ascending and after that in this sort by select it as name this how many records to store click on this all records and after that click on this done button so like this we created the get records and connect from start to this get records and after that we need to add one more element that is assignment so just drag and drop this assignment element and then copy the label from the instructions that is store get records results so copy it and add it here in the label and after that in this variable here click on this new resource and select the resource type as variable and then enter the api name that is opportunity records so after that select the data type as record and then here select the object as opportunity and also here before this data type click on this checkbox allow multiple values and then click on this done button so like this we created the resource variable and after that in this operator leave it as equals and from this value select it as opportunity from get opportunity so after that click on this done button so connect this assignment to the get records so just drag and drop the link from the get records to assignment and after that we need to add one more element that is collection sort so just drag and drop is collection sort element and then we need to add the label so i am adding it as opportunity sort so after that select this collection variable as opportunity records and then from this sort by select it as name and finally click on this done button again connect this collection sort from assignments to collection sort and the next element to be added is screen element so just drag and drop this screen and then enter the label here as opportunity screen so after adding the screen label here from this left side search components search for pick list so here it is the pick list just click on it so the pick list is added so enter the pick list label as sales list Just scroll down and here in this choice, click on this new choice resource and then from this resource type select it as pick list choice set and then type the API name that is stays name and after that select the object as opportunity and also select the data type as pick list and here search for the field as stays name just click on this done after doing all of this again click on this add choice and again click on this new choice resource and here in this resource type Select it as choice and then enter the API name as view all. So after that, go to the instruction space and here copy this view all and then add it here. 
so in this choice value just write this all word after that click on this done button so we can see that the view all choice was added and in this default value select it as view all so here it is view all and after that from this left side just remove this and search for data table so here it is just click on this data table so we can see that the data table was added successfully so here type the api name as filtered opportunity records so type it without giving any spaces and after that click on this use label as the table title and here select the source collection as opportunity records so here it is click on this and also click on this configure columns and here in this select a field search for name and then click on this done and then again click on this add column and now search for stage name click done again click on this add column and again search for the field as amount then click done again click on this add column now search for expected revenue then click done and again click on add column and now search for description finally click on this done button so like this we need to add all these column names so those are already mentioned here you can check here also and after that click on this done button so connect this screen element to this collection sort so give a link from collection sort to the screen so we need to add one more element here that is collection filter just drag and drop this collection filter and then we need to copy the label from the instructions so move to the label and scroll down here it is filter for stage name so copy the label and then add it here and for this collection search for opportunity records so here it is and in this field search for stays so select this stays and then operator as equals and after that the value as stays list so here it is after selecting all of these just click on this done button so the collection filter is also added and then we need to add one more element that is assignment so drag and drop this assignment element and here enter the label as updated opportunity and after that select the variable as opportunity records and here select it as equals for the operator and for the value select it as filter for stage name so here select it as opportunities from filter for stage name and then click on this done button so now from this collection filter connect it to this assignment and from this assignment connect it to the screen after connecting all of these we need to add one more element that is decision element so drag and drop this decision element and then type the label as is view all and after that in this outcome details under the label name as yes and for this resource search for stage list and for this operator leave it as equals and for this value search for view all so this is the outcome details for the s label and move to this default outcome and here change the label to no and then click on this done button i am just reordering all of these so add the decision element here and then give the connection from decision to this screen 
and here select the outcome as yes then click done button and after that again give a connection from decision to this collection filter and the outcome should be no and finally creating all of these elements and giving all the collections correctly just click on the save button and then copy the flow label from the instructions that is opportunity review so copy it and then add it in the flow label and then click on the save button so successfully we saved the flow move to the instruction space scroll down to the last and then click on this check challenge button click accept so yeah we got the 500 points that means we completed the challenge without any errors and do check out our channel for next challenge answers and also please share our channel to your friends it will help them too. That's it. Thank you.